Ciao, Old Smelters here, and this is my last tutorial for 2019. Today I will show you how to create a parallax sliding images, which is quite a trendy feature, and it's available only starting from Salient version 11. So let's head over to our dashboard and create a new page. So I will call my page as a test and click Save Draft. And let's get to our backend editor, add new element, I'll create a new row. And I will create another row into the row and split that one in two columns. So for this one, I will add background image. And I will choose this image here. So I need to make sure that my image is full weight background. And what I will do as well, I will make some gaps on top and bottom of this row. So save changes, let's preview. And this is what I created so far. So let's get back here. So now I will add a new element, which is cascading images. And there is a general settings where we can tick in enable parallax scrolling. So this is a new feature in Solient 11. And uh, yeah, from here we have option now where we can set uh, kind of the sliding speed, how much it's gonna slide. So we have three options. And I will go with medium one, which is middle one. So now we have four layers available for cascading images. So the first layer not gonna slide at all. Every next layer, layer two, three, four, they will slide. So remember that, that first layer not gonna slide at all and that will be used as a kind of frame for that. So for the first layer, I will choose kind of uh, frame. Uh, so set image and I will rotate it to 20 degrees and uh, let's save changes and preview and this is what I created now so I added the frame rotated it 20 degrees and this will be my first layer and as you can see it's not sliding at all so as a next layer I will add in image let's choose this one and set image we can add some uh, background shadow, small depth for it. So kind of make it a little bit nicer and save changes, preview. And this is what I created. So it's not sliding now a lot, just a little bit, just because we don't have enough movement on the page itself. So let's go to the next kind of, uh, step and add another row. I will split this one as well into two columns and uh, do like that. So I will just show you a couple ways how you can use the sliding image effect and how it looks like in different kind of conditions. So for this one again I will uh, let's add some gaps again for our uh, row. We need them just to make our page a bit longer so we can see all the sliding effects. And uh, save changes. Let's preview now. And now we have a little bit more already page. So as you can see, the second layer image, which is this one, it's sliding as we scrolling the page. So, for this one, I will add again cascading images. And in this one, I not gonna use the image for the first layer because let's say I want to make it 
I want to make only sliding image for this kind of uh, element. So how to do that? Uh, it's quite easy. So I will just choose not the image, but this time I will need to choose background color. We need to set at least something because if we're not going to set anything, the layer two will be kind of first object in this cascading, uh, cascading image settings and that's not going to slide. So we need to set that first element at least to be either it's kind of can be colorful box or in our case, we want to keep transparent. So we have two options from here. We can set the color which matches the, our background or let's say if our background is multicolor and how we can kind of go over that option, we can easily tape in uh, transparent. And this will make our background color transparent. There is one glitch with this. Uh, as we go further, I will show you what's happening here. So I will add the image which I want to use as a sliding image for this object. So we need to go again to our general settings, click enable parallax scrolling and I will choose medium again, intensity and save changes and let's click preview. And as you can see, this is what I created now. So as you can see, this image now slides. Let's go back here and I will show you what the glitch I'm talking about is here. So I want to make that image smaller. This one here. So how can I do this? I can uh, adjust the first kind of uh, first layer uh, position and that will kind of decrease the area where my objects are and we'll make that second object a little bit smaller. So if I want to make that happen, what I can do, I can make offset minus and let's say 5% and save changes, preview now. And as you can see what's happened now, this image is not sliding anymore. It's a bit smaller than it was before, but it's not sliding anymore. And this is because there is a glitch in this element and I lost my background color transparency. So I need to again tape in transparent and save changes and preview now. And as you can see, it's again sliding. So that's a glitch. There is a couple more places where we have in visual builder some glitches sometimes, but as you can see, I can go back again, set the transparent color and everything is working. So if I will go over and edit again, I can lose it again. But as I'm doing as a last step, setting up that uh, kind of transparent color, it still works. So it's fine for me. So on this side, I will just add some more elements. So let's add some uh, custom heading. And let's make it centered and uh, Use default fonts and save changes. And let's add a couple more uh, elements. This time I will use text block and simply add some information here. And let's add one more element, which will be button medium size. I'm not going to use any links for that and just uh, tape it. Check now. And then we can add default arrow to it and save changes. And let's center all those objects. And let's preview now. And this is what I created so far. So let's say I, I want to center this text here in the middle. So it's kind of makes sense that he shows on that kind of call to action part. So how to do that? It's quite easy and simple. We need to go to our row settings. And now we need to create uh, check this equal height 
and choose position middle, save changes and preview. And as you can see, it's now centered and this all makes sense. So what we can do as well, we can add some effect on this column here. Let's say go to animation and click entire column animation. From here we can choose, let's say fade it from bottom and we can add some uh, delay on it. So let's say thousand milliseconds. And let's preview now. And I can make something like that. So this is how you can add the sliding kind of parallax image on a call to action section in your website or simply like that. And let's, let's, let's get to our dashboard back and I will uh, show you one more option, how you can use sliding images. So for that, I will need to create a new row again. This time I will split it into the three sections, something like that. And I will make this a row. Let's add the background for this row. This time I will choose like a kind of uh, water image. And uh, for that I will make this uh, full weight row and column position I will leave it to the middle. So let's save changes and let's click preview. And this is what I created so far. So what we need to do here, we need to go to row settings and make sure that our image is full weight background. So save changes, preview. And this will be something like that. So now what I'm gonna do now is add again our uh, cascading images. And from here, I will add again, first layer will be transparent. So I don't need any objects which not gonna move in this uh, kind of uh, row. So I'm choosing again my layer as a transparent. As you can see now I'm using image and this makes sense where I'm adding the transparent color. Otherwise I couldn't define, let's say color which would match the kind of uh, our background image. So in this case, we need to use the transparent color setting for this layer. And let's go to general settings, enable our parallax and set to medium. And now I will go to layer two and I will add a layer image where I will choose kind of Panga image, which is fish image. And let's choose our image here. Let's save changes and preview now and see how it looks like. So there is our fish. As you can see, it's kind of sliding up. So what I'm gonna do, I will adjust, adjust some settings. So for that one, I will go to layer two and uh, so my X offset, I will set to 15% and I will put the layer padding to none and save changes and let's preview now. And what I did now, so I moved the fish to the side, as you can see, it's again not moving at all because I lost my transparency setting on the first layer. So I need to go back and type in again, save changes. So let's add another layer into this uh, object and I will use again my fish image and uh, this time I will set the settings X will be minus 100%. So X and Y axis we have 
axis horizontal and y will be vertical one so as a y axis i will put 100 percent so uh, what i didn't hear is actually moved uh, horizontally to the left side and uh, y axis is vertical one and 100 percent this means that i pushed it down to the bottom and here i can set as well the rotation of my image and in this case i will choose to rotate it 20 percent so again plus will go clockwise and minus will go anti-clockwise and uh, let's save changes and preview now so as you can see What's happening here is that uh, this this fish is now sliding. This one is not. So again, I lost my transparency setting. And what else I want to do? Let's go back here. Let's increase our uh, scale of our fish, which is bigger one to one hundred ten percent. And let's go back to layer one and create our. Uh, transparency on the object on the first layer and let's preview now and this is how it looks like now so as you can see we can create quite nice sliding effects on our images so that's it about the parallax sliding images and how you can use them on your own website. I hope you like it. Uh, leave the comment down below of what you would like to see from me in 2020. And uh, yeah, I hope this was a great year for you and next one will be even better. So happy new year. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Ciao.